So, everyone, I'm making my way down to the Newington Forest. <laughs> Newington Forest. No, the Newington Wood Woodland. I'm passing through a field. They've cut it all already. I think this was a barley field. It has been cut a few nights ago. And I'm passing through to see if you can go down to the woodland. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at it's so cute. <laughs> Wow, look at this. They are huge. Oh my word. These brambles are huge. Woo. Gosh. Oh my goodness. They're not normally this big. Well. And they are sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm -mm. My organic snack, one hundred percent free, one hundred percent healthy. Okay, so it has been recommended that we should have our five a day, yes? See it? Five a day. So I start now. One. Two. Three. Five. Okay. Is that all right? Five a day. Good. See? Really go. <laughs> Five a day. I'm not even close. Rumbles everywhere. Everywhere. So, as I was saying earlier on, that 
we can always I know sometimes it's really challenging and especially now with all the, 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 the impact of the pandemic across the world all of our lives have been affected and it's tough and I'm a chef you know and I was affected gravely shut down for ages a lot of the jobs dried up you know and especially working for an agency at one point I used to go various places and shifts but all of, all of that sort of dried up you know and during the pandemic I decided to start go, um, cooking classes and do it online that's me adapting you know to a new norm becoming self-employed it's a tough time for everyone but it's no time for me to stay home and be depressed about it one have to get up and go sometimes you have to reassess accept that there some damage has been done and it's not the end of the world you just need to stop take up a, a breather and start again and that's what I'm doing and I get out and explore nature not just exploring but looking for potential to turn what this beautiful creation has afforded us to something amazing that is nice quality food so me being out is good for exercise but also it helps me connect with God's creation to appreciate the beauty of it the other aspect is I know you have people who are evolutionary evolutionists so they might believe, believe in the creation story <coughs> but if one thing both creationists and evolutionists can agree on is that going out into nature I'm not talking about in the midst of the fire like in California or in the typhoon in Asia or hurricane in the Caribbean I'm talking about going out in a condition like this it's not rainy, windy still warm enough and it's mild to go out and revalue one's life how one can improve and I believe it starts with giving back to the community and that's the thing is what? how can you really give back to the community when you don't have much to give you see that is the catch because this is the challenge that we are now facing many of us are losing our jobs so we don't have much to give well it depends on what interpreters give it's not always about financial at the moment I cannot say I've got the financial resources to give to people but what I can give is words of encouragement hopefully cooking classes online cooking tips health tips as I also navigate my way through healthy living you know and if each one contribute a wee bit here and there it adds up overall and that's why I encourage those who are listening don't quit don't give up it's just one more step you know just one more step each day is another step closer to rising above the despondency of life and realizing what you are meant to be or what you can do and that the disruptions that we face in life is not the end of our journey it's probably the beginning of a new phase of our journey take us out of our comfort zone and put us on the road to something greater and it's not always about money it's about a greater honest understanding of how we can contribute to life itself to our local society you know hello, hello. so Oh, yeah. <laughs> so
so as you can see you have many people out walking about you know it's this is what's great you know people doing for exercise for going to places but sometimes just to refresh you know refresh one's soul and that's why i am out doing just that you know i would love one day again as a chef to be out working on my company doing stuff all these opportunities aren't available for chefs at the moment it's a tough time for people in the catering and hospitality sector people also in retail people in the airline industry whatever maybe the engineers i don't know it works for them but those who actually work on the plane just so much happening and you know what can i say i don't have a solution to to to, to all people's problems all i know i don't even have a solution to some of mine but what i do is just keep going just keep going and each time i keep going new inspiration you know is realized each day and this is how it started with this see it ella berry every so often you go somewhere you see something new and as a chef i don't have a restaurant i don't have this and my business is facing its greatest challenge but i'm looking at this nature and how i can turn it into something useful for my community and hopefully can re relieve the already burden some people are facing so i don't know i'm going to fully do all of it but at least the inspiration comes through observation through you know seeing what you've already got hello seeing what you've already got and start there and not worrying about what's not there because sometimes that's the case there are things that we don't have and we worry that we cannot move forward and do something in life and forget that we already have things that we can use and i believe as as a christian that i can start with what i've got and let the lord do the rest again for those who are not christians who are revolutionists or is um, muslim or buddhist whatever your persuasion i'm sure many of you have seen a thought of using what you've got start with what you've got and work from there yep yes it's interesting times you know interesting times so here i am deep rural <laughs> oh yes this is what i love so there's a break in the wind because of the trees but brambles never give up people i know i'm i'm no great expert or prophet or billionaire or whatever celebrity chef i'm just oinish and you know i'm at a stage in my life that giving up is not an option even when there's not much to work with but the little that i have to work with i still will work with it and move forward and today you know as i consider myself in this world with all those who are going about doing various stuff and congrats to all in the health sector for, for staying the tide of the coronavirus it would have been worse without you 
all those are keeping our environment clean all those who are watching managing our financial asset ensuring stability and various others people in the food sector um the retail sector for example supermarkets um who have been supplying us with food and all that farmers a lot of respect to all the farmers because somehow food is still on the table and all those who have helped in the picking of the fruits and vegetables etc you know hats off you've really done and all the others that i haven't mentioned you have contributed a lot just keep doing what you're doing because you help to make our lives much easier and we will do our best to to contribute in what way we can i've got some more brambles here snacks there's just so much to eat so i would at this stage i would go foraging collect some keep it for when there aren't any around so probably have brambles for winter but i'll use some now in autumn but one of the, the greatest joy you see one of the greatest joy is just having it as it is yeah amazing this is what i'm used to when i was growing up in jamaica in montego bay mm. as a montegonian jamesy this is normal for me not blackberry blackberries in jamaica i remember seeing blackberry in trelawney upper trelawney in this area called spring gardens that was the first time i saw blackberry but it wasn't available in montego bay however because montego bay is a city you'd think that you cannot source lots of fresh produce though we have at the time two open markets three markets open markets that people who could go and buy food products we had areas in montego bay not the city center region but on the outskirts we could actually get mango walks nesbury walks on our way to on my way to to my school um primary school when i was younger there was a nesbury walk and summer holidays were the best not because they were longer but because there were so many stuff available guineps apples not british apples our apples look like pear but red um etc and would pick a lot of stuff and eat a lot of fresh produce during summer well th throughout the year we eat a lot of fresh produce but during summer in particular because we have school we could go in groups and go pick fruits and chat and play in the river and eat fruits and more fruits come home no space for having for eating dinner you solve problem with her mom i used to have problem with my mom my brothers too because we stuff ourselves with fruits never vegetables uh, but fruits so and and the important thing is once that season is finished it's finished we never look back till the next season and that psyche stays with me today and when i came to the uk i was surprised that i could have gotten things available all year round, and i was excited but then i started notice when i start having strawberries during winter it just doesn't taste the same it's hard it doesn't it looks pretty but it's hard and it's tasteless and more expensive and i always wonder why is it that I keep eating stuff out of season when I'm not normally used to it. So that's why I went, I'm, 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 I went back to eating seasonal. 
and it triggers this whole memory of eating in season you know and here I am exploring seasonal stuff you know amazing oh. yes <laughs> it's lovely eh? it's amazing Have this place Absolutely, yes. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Hello. Stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I'll keep you posted as I go along this journey. So, a lot more exploration of the great Scotland. So, stay tuned, people. <laughs>